terms of customizing the uh, estimating sheet, uh, we've already talked in other sections about you can customize the top area here to anything you want. So you can put your own company logo in here, whatever fields you're interested in and so forth can be uh, put in here uh, basically between rows 1 and uh, rows 10 here. You can customize it any way you'd like here. Uh, there are, however, other uh, controls going on in the uh, Excel estimating sheet here. If I go back to the summary, for instance, you'll notice that the first row in the summary area that's, that's visible is in fact row 8. And that's because we're actually doing some, uh, we get some control features up in rows 1 through 7. Now, Excel make, doesn't make it very easy for you to unhide uh, rows 1 through 7 uh, because they're the first uh, batch of rows in your spreadsheet here. There's a little trick here that you can use. If you hit the F5 key, it brings up this uh, the screen here. And then down here in the reference area, just put in one colon, colon 7. In other words, the range of rows that you want to see. And then you click on the OK. Now, those rows are actually selected now, even though you can't see them. But it does mean that if you go to your formats and you select the rows and you do an unhide, they will all appear for you now. Okay, so that's a little trick there to just make the uh, fields obvious to you as to what's going on here. Now, what you have here is a series of parameters that, is actually, that are actually being used to control uh, the working of the uh, Excel estimating sheet here. And you can read, read a little bit more about them if you come in here and just hover over the Excel comments we're using here. And it tells you about the, uh, the different fields that we're using here. If the unit of time measurement uh, used in your worksheets, cell B5 below. So B5 is the unit of time measurements in the worksheet in seconds, right? Uh, this differs from the unit of time measure in the summary. You can put in a conversion factor here. So in other words, if you wanted to work in, uh, let's say, in, in uh, seconds on the, uh, in the in the detail and work and roll everything up into minutes, you can do it here by putting in the appropriate factor here. Uh, what cell? This is the second row here. Is the uh, the cell on the sheet that contains your task description? must be in columns A through Z. So we say it's cell A3. So if we come over here, you can see A3 contains our task description right here. So it's pointing to that cell. So we know where to pick up the task description to put into this field here. Uh, what row the data starts on? Uh, we're saying that the, uh, the data basically starts on row 10. So obviously that's why I'm telling you customize row 1 through 10. But you could actually change that if you wanted to change it to another value here. Uh, unit of time measure in the summary. Uh, it tells you the different units you can have here. Seconds or minutes are what we support over here. Unit of time measurements in the work scene, you can have seconds, minutes, hours, and TMUs. So obviously, if you have anything other than seconds or minutes, you're going to have to put a conversion factor in up here. And uh, this uh, column here, or this row here, actually, check column for user formula. Uh, we talk about that in another uh, video in a few uh, it talks about using your own formulations here, and it tells you uh, what column you would, we would look for the results of a particular formula. And so if you've got a, a detailed formula that calculates the time, let's say so many pieces are inserted or and, and so many pieces moved, that type of thing, uh, you can actually use that formula right in the Excel sheet and have it feed back into the estimating here. So again, this is the different unit of measures up here and configurations that we use to control the working of the uh, sheet here. When you finish working with this, uh, just hide these again. So you just highlight them and then go to Format, Rows, and hide them again so that the casual user doesn't see that and you have it configured to your requirements.